Ano yun? Ano yun? Ano yun? Clear na? Clear na sa laging may rhythm laro. Kaya wala na. Kita rin wala. Kita rin wala? Okay ka? Yes. Okay. So, Now you see that day we have been discussing this point. There is no pointer. Huh? Is there any pointer here? Or scale, something like that, you know. Ah, okay, no problem. We will take make use of something else. Now these are regular classes, I'm not doing that. Okay, now you see, you can see the Atlantic Ocean, huh? you can see the Atlantic Ocean, which one is the Atlantic Ocean, the one which, this is your Atlantic Ocean. You can see my pointer, huh? the cursor you can see, this is Indian Ocean, this is Pacific Ocean. Now, you see these areas, the Canadian areas, there are so many small, small landlocked seas, you know, which are connecting to Pacific Ocean on the other side and the Atlantic Ocean this side. Some are connecting, some are landlocked. Similarly, if you go to the Norwegian side, this North Sea plus uh, this smaller, smaller seas, you know, they are partly surrounded by the continents. Sometimes they are landlocked. So then you come to the eastern margin of Asia, this Philippine Sea, China Sea, Japan Sea, see near Malaysia you see, there are so many landlocked, partly landlocked seas near Australia. The same thing is also near Jamaica, Florida, these Bahama Islands are there. So these seas are aquatic seas, as I was telling that day, these are the aquatic seas. This is the main sea. Atlantic sea is the main sea or the Indian Ocean is the main sea. Now, suppose in the next few million years, say 100 or 200 million years, this Atlantic Ocean closes. When the Atlantic Ocean will close, <coughs> so these continents will come together. America will come together with Europe, South America will come together with Africa. So Atlantic Ocean will be converted to a mountain belt. This Atlantic Ocean will be converted to a mountain belt. We can say the Orozen or mobile belt. There will be some subduction, there will be granitic intrusion, metamorphism, deformation. Because there will be a subduction beneath this sea. It will be created, newly created. Whereas this apparent seas, this continental seas, they will not close. 
may be partly closed, those which are closed to a well seat, they will be partly closed. Or those which are little away, they will remain like that. But gradually they will dry up. Gradually they will dry up. And so the sediments which are laid down here in this aperic seas, they will remain as horizontal, horizontal bedded deposits. So those are platforms. Those are platforms and this will be converted to a mobile bed. So these things I have discussed last class. So this will be converted to a mobile bed and this seas, this seas, this seas will remain as a platform deposits. So with this pretext, you know, we are discussing the Indian geology. Now, if you see Himalayan ocean, Himalaya is here, Himalaya. The Himalaya was once upon a time, there was a sea there called Tethys Ocean. That also I will show you, Tethys Ocean. Now, Tethys Ocean is closed now, converting it to a mountain belt called Himalayan Orogen or Himalayan Mobile Belt. Mobile Belt Orogen, they are synonymous. But there are some seas which are not closed, apparent seas which are not closed, they are still left out, open. So, those are you can see the Caspian Sea, Mediterranean Sea, they are part of the Tethys. They are lying very close on its shoulder or it lay away. That is why they didn't close. Now, I will show you other map. What is that boy's name? Yesterday he was telling them. No? Just a minute, yeah. Uh, Are you able to see now? Yes, sir. Okay. So, what you are seeing here? Here, you are seeing the southern continent, the Gondwana continent. This is the time during Paleozoic. Previous was the present day situation. If you go to Paleozoic, Neither Atlantic Ocean was there or Indian Ocean was there or Pacific Ocean was there. That time you have Death East Sea. And one side you have Gondwana land consisting of Antarctica, Africa, South America, India, Australia and Arabia. And on the other side you have Laurasia. China, Europe, America, all those together you know. They were forming Laurasia and this side you have Gondwana land. So together that supercontinent was called Pangaea. So now this Tethys Ocean has many such appearances. Which are those appearances? Now you can see these seas here. Small, small seas, you know. Landlocked, partly landlocked, totally landlocked seas. They are appearances. Now when this Tethys Ocean will close, some of those seas was not affected. They are still open. One day they will dry up. It will not be very far. So those are platform deposits. Now, if I if just run this video, if I run this video, you see, now the Tethys Ocean will close. All these continents will break. The 
कहती से उसे मेरे क्लोज ना
So these are the CID here, then Singhum, then Eastern Ghats has a number of such platform deposits, starting with Chhattisgarh. Here is your Chhattisgarh. C H A T I S H Chhattis God. Then Kharia, Kharia, Kharia. Then Ambari. All those things I will give the names here. Then if you come to the other side of peninsula, you have Bhima, Karadi. This is your Bhima. This is your Karadi. And here is your Kadapa. So these are your platform deposits. So now you are in a position to understand what is mobile bank and what is platform. From where they have come. So most of the platform deposits are plastics, sandstone, shell. But limestones are also there. But dominantly, there is a silicic cluster. But mobile bands, mobile bands has everything. But now you cannot see the original signature. If you go to Aravali, you will get cysts, volcanics, so many things you will get. They will be metamorphosed and deformed. But if you want to see original, what are the rocks, you have to go to Delhi. So these are your platforms and these are your mobile bills. This is to remember. Now point is, these are the protozoic elements or protozoic crustal types. Protozoic, protozoic crustal types. Now, suppose I will ask you, you go to Archean, suppose I will take you to the Archean period. So these elements will, be not, will not be there during Archean time, they are not there. See, I will give a classification, then I will come back to the Archean. What is the classification? I will write down. The names of the names of the platform sequences. Platform sequences, these are called Purana rocks. Purana rocks. Different names. Platform sequences are also called Purana rocks. So the value of protege. Periodic are your Gwalia and Vizawa. The Mesoprotozoic Mesoprotozoics are your Vinjans. Vinjans. I think Vinjan has also a Pagayaprotozoic S. The older, older Vinyan, older Vin sequence has a paleoprotrogenic edge. But most of it is mesoprotrogenic. Vinyan, then you have Kadapa, Kadapa, then you have Satisgarh, Satisgarh, then you have Krishna Godavari, Krishna Godavari, then Kadapa, I have this Bhima, Kalangi. So these are the platform deposits. Mobile Bells of India 
आरावली दिल्ली मोबाइल पर आरावली दिल्ली मोबाइल पर देन सेंट्रल इंडिया टेक्टोनिक जोन सेंट्रल इंडिया टेक्टोनिक जोन टेक्टोनिक जोन और सी आई टी जेड दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सातपुरा मोबाइल बेल्ट सातपुरा मोबाइल बेल्ट देन कम सिंगो मोबाइल बेल्ट सिंगो मोबाइल बेल्ट सिंगो मोबाइल बेल्ट देन कम सिंगल ईस्टर्न घाट मोबाइल बेल्ट ईस्टर्न घाट मोबाइल बेल्ट देन सदर्न ग्रामीण लाइट टेरेन सदर्न ग्रामीण लाइट टेरेन सदर्न ग्रामीण लाइट टेरेन सो दिस आर सम ऑफ दिस मोबाइल बेल्ट्स एंड दी प्लेटफॉर्म डिपोजिट्स एंड हियर ईस्टर्न घाट There are some more names you know I'll tell you here also I get because sometimes in the GSA exam you know these kind of things come like you know Khariya Khariya Ampani Ampani then Abu Jamal Abu Jamal. इंद्रावती इंद्रावती सबरी दीज आर क्लोज टू ईस्टर्न घाट मैं कृष्णा गोदावरी आई हेव टोल्ड यू देयर सो दीज आर द प्लेटफॉर्म्स दीज आर द मोबाइल पेट्स नाउ व्हाट आई वाज आस्किंग यू इफ यू Go back to Archean. If you go back to Archean, so those things were not there in Indian subcontinent. Because during protozoic time, all these things will develop. During Archean time, you have these craters. Whatever areas which are, as you know, which are uh, Archean areas, they are called strata. So, what is the Archean time span? So the oldest rock in India is equal to 3.7 million billion years. And what is the uh, limit? You can say 2.5 billion years. This period, whatever rocks you will find, they are called strata. So in India, which are the craters? I will draw this map. Then I will show you. I am removing it, but anyway, it is recorded. See again, if you go to, let us come from the north. We have Bundelkhand crater. It is just half circle. Bundelkhand. Bundelkhand. Bundelkhand Plateau. So we ask you what is what is the age of the rocks in Bundelkhand Plateau? Just say uh, it is more than 2.5 billion years. There are all uh, Archean age. That is why we say it is a crater. Then here we have Mewar Plateau. Mewar, Mewar is the uh, Arabic Mewar. Mewar Plateau. Mewarta, close to Ayam. Mewarta. Then what? Which crater you have? Then you have this Singhum crater. Singhum crater. Singhum crater. Then Bastar crater. Bastar crater. Bastar. Crater, or this is also known as Bhandara crater. Bhandara, Bhandara crater. 
जेनु तंबू करना जगा दिस इज धरवार का धरवार का धरवार का धरवार का सो वी हैव दिस मेनी प्लेटर्स इन इंडिया बुंदेलखंड मेवा सिंगु बस्तर और भंडार दिस इज सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज धरवार पैटर्न साउथ सो रॉक्स इन दिस पैटर्न्स आर मोर देन 2.5 मिलियन इयर्स दिस नाउ व्हाट इज व्हेन यू एंटर इनटू द प्रोटोजोइक दोस मोबाइल इवेंट्स विल कम दैट मींस देयर आर देयर आर द सी हियर व्हेन यू गो टू प्रोटोजोइक द सी यू विल ओपन अप then only there will be deposition there will be subduction collision so when you are going to protrude this rwc will open up rwc when we go say will open up this here this central india sea will develop central india sea will develop then singhum sea will develop Here, yeah. Singhum Sea. Then Eastern Ghats Sea. This sea will develop. Then South, Southern, Southern Ragala Sea will develop. As you enter into Protrusion, before that, it was a single landmass. It was a single landmass. it may not be as good looking as the present india but it was definitely a single landmass so that landmass was broken into small small pieces you see from here this part was broken 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 But during the Archean, probably they were all together, a small continent or a small land mass. But when you enter into Protozoic, these oceans will develop. That is the story. When you go to Protozoic, these oceans will develop. Oceans will be converted to mobile bed platforms. And this craton, what you see today, Bunda craton, Mewa craton, the Bostar craton, they are left out. They are still existing. So this is how Indian subcontinent has evolved from a craton stage to mobile belt platform stage, then to Gondwana stage. Then to the present time, what do you see today? So it is a nearly 3.7 years journey, you know. So all these rocks are above 2.5 to 3.7. All these rocks. So India started its journey from this time, 3.7 billion year years time. As it entered into 2.5, 2.4, the oceans started developing. There are large oceans, just like the present-day ocean. Then the oceans closed for mobile belt and platform. Then again, new ocean opened up, the deep ocean, the marine origin developed. And then today, what you see today, you know, different oceans are there. So you should remember how Indian subcontinent is evolved. It is very short. I am telling before you go to individual parts. This is in short. I am telling. The point is, I will write down this point yeah? so that you will not forget. You know how. So that means. 
इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट थ्री पॉइंट सेवन बिलियन इयर ओडिसी बोलता है जोड़ी वो डी वाई एस एस आई मैं भी डिफिकल्ट ना हुई जोड़ी जोड़ थ्री पॉइंट सेवन बिलियन इयर जोड़ सो इट स्टार्टेड विथ क्राटोंस इंडिया स्मॉल विच सेल इट वाज यू डोंट नो ओनली द क्राटोंस वेर एक्जिस्टिंग ए स्मॉल लैंड मास क्राटोंस आर एक्जिस्टिंग इट वेंट इनटू लिटिल गुड सेल व्हाट यू सी इंडिया टुडे लिटिल गुड सेल दिस इज क्राटोन टाइम दिस इज मोबाइल मैन Plus platform time, India is now there. It went to Gondwana land time. Gondwana land. Then it came to present day oceans. Present day oceans. So oceans are taking part. Oceans are destroyed. New continents, new oceans are created. That is how Indian subcontinent has evolved. That is what we are going to study in this course: tectonics and continental evolution. How tectonics help? Archean tectonics, protozoic tectonics, phalaenopic tectonics. How it happened? Now, what I am telling you, the sea. Very interesting phenomena, you know. In North Sea, I'm telling them we go up in detail. Now today, what you see? Suppose I will draw the Indian map, you know. Suppose this is India map. India. Today, today what you see? It is like this. This part is connected. This part is connected. To China, through Himalayan mountain belt. So Himalayan mountain belt is a suture, suture. It is connecting two continents. So sutures are the expression of Paleo-Ocean. Paleo-Ocean. These are the expression. These are the indications of Paleo-Ocean. Paleo-Ocean. That is the suture line. Along that line, you know, two continents are stitched together. Now, you see this such a big mountain belt is done. Now, this big mountain belt. Do you think that it is just mechanically it has been created? Just mechanically, two plates collided and. No, you know this mother earth. Why I am using the word mother earth? You know, it is always in a process of to grow an atmosphere, grow an environment where the human being can survive. It is always in a process. This Himalayan mountain belt is developed. Now you see how the way it is helping the India. Had this Himalayan mountain belt been not there, can you survive in India? You cannot survive in India. Now we are seeing a single landmass, the most dreaded most Himalayan mountain belt. It is protecting from north and southern and the ocean. Ocean is protecting us. Now in climate geology class, you know. Many of you have not registered for that class, but I will tell you. Today the cold wave is going on in India. Very rare. In 10 years, 20 years interval, it comes. Suddenly it becomes so cold, and I felt very sick. I never has felt winter, you know. Even though I have spent my entire life December in Rajasthan, I have never felt cold there. But today in Bombay, you know, I am feeling cold. 
This cold has a different signature. The cold wave which you see today, you know, it is coming from Afghanistan, Iran. It is coming from there. Why it suddenly came this way? This is called westerly disturbances. Westerly disturbances. This westerly disturbance happens because India is now passing through a large enough headache, El Nino phase. El Nino phase. Where monsoon is quite weak, very weak. Monsoon will come here and wind will come It will spread all over India. This year it may be very weak. So that this wind came from this side, making the entire continent so cold and rainy. El Nino year. In La Nina year, monsoon will be very strong. From this side, wind will blow very strongly and this will not dare to come. So we will be in a different environment. So, that I am telling how the tectonics helps you, you know, for your survival. It is not the Himalayan mountain belt, it is just a material to see, just to enjoy, you know. It is a life source, life force for us. Now you see, you have for the broad coast, coastline, very broad coastline, big mountain belt, and what else you have, you know? There are so many rivers. India is a country of rivers. You know only from 10 rivers name. But you know there are so many rivers. <coughs> so you have river Ganges. You have river Brahmaputra. River Brahmaputra. Indus river. Sindhu, you say. Then you have so many rivers here, Narmada, Takti. <coughs> you have Mahanadi. In Odisha, there are so many Brahmani, Mahanadi, Brahmani. I'm just getting my water. <coughs> we have so many rivers, Mahanadi, Brahmani, then Godavari, then Krishna, Kaveri, and there are smaller rivers in the western side. They are called, uh, in Goa you must have heard the name of Manivi. Manvi, then there are Savitri river, Savitri, there are small smaller rivers. Now point is, these rivers are draining into the oceans or seas. Now, you can categorize these rivers into few categories. Like, all these rivers do not belong to the same as, though you are looking them as rivers of India, but they have developed during different periods of time. How? Now you see, the most recent rivers are these three rivers. And they are tributaries and distributaries, whatever you use. Ganga, Brahmaputra and Sindhu. With the rise of Himalaya, they have been originated. They were not there earlier. Because north you have big ocean, deadly source. It was not there. So these rivers are because of Himalayan upliftment, you are seeing these rivers. And these three rivers are prime rivers of northern India. So how they are created? 
because of the tectonics. Because of the tectonics, you get this reverse. Because Indian plate collided with the China plate, the Tethys Ocean closed, so you got this mobile band and the reverse. This is the most recent reverse. So you can name them as 10 million years time. Not more than that. Himalayan mountain belt, you know, the present height you are seeing, maybe 9 to 10 million years. Before that, it was within the sea. Now, next one, which, which river you want to put? Next river is this. All these rivers, which rivers? This is the youngest river. Then all these rivers were created. Mahanadi, Brahmani, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, and this side rivers, Mandvi, Savitri. Because these rivers, these are the second category rivers, East Coast and West Coast. So, these rivers are much older, Permian age. 
You get set 300 million years, that's older. Or even older, he was. Because they had one more. Now, you can ask these questions to me. So, on the basis of this Permian fossils, the Permian deposits, you are telling this river are existing. But also around Mahanadi river, there are one more. Krishna Godavari, also one more is there. But why these rivers are not older, river Permian is older? Why I am telling on 110 million years? Jurassic age old. Why am I telling they are younger? They have also old one. Now, there is a difference. Now, the Gondwana deposits which are occurring in Godavari Valley or Krishna Valley, Kaveri also and Mahanadi, the Gondwana deposits which are occurring there, definitely the river valley deposits. Definitely they are deposited inside Mohanadi river or Krishna Godavari river. But that river, you know, which was depositing this Gondwana is not existing. It is dead. That river is not there. The river which you see as Mohanadi river or Godavari river or Krishna river, they are new rivers. Why say so? Because you see, when this Permian deposits were taking place in Mahanadi, Godavari and Krishna, that time there was no ocean here. There was no ocean, big continent was existing. Antarctica continent was existing. So these rivers, they were flowing into the continent. From Antarctica it was coming and flowing into this side. From Antarctica it was coming and flowing into India. But to what extent, which way, where are they falling? Which ocean they are draining out? They were draining out to this Narmada. Because all these coal fields, they are rounding against Narmada. If you see the Gondwana gold field maps, they will go like this, truncate here. Go Godavari Krishna, they will truncate here. So those rivers, Parmian Mahanadi, Parmian Godavari, Parmian Krishna, they are flowing in the opposite way, into Narmada. So when Narmada was hosting Gondwana deposits, this was hosting Gondwana deposits. So now, those rivers are dead. New Gondwana river, new Mahanadi river came and flowed in the opposite way. Opposite way. Maybe it is existing at the same place where Palio Mahanadi was there or Palio Godavari was there, but it is a new river which is not come up. So this Mahanadi and Palio Mahanadi they are different. Palya Mahanadi is hosting this Gondwana deposits. New Mahanadi, whatever you see the oil fields in the ocean, they are different. Because that time when Palya Mahanadi is existing, there are no ocean here. So this is the understand. So these rivers were draining into Narmada. And Narmada was flowing to Tethys. Tethys was coming up to this point. Tethys was an, because there was no Arabian Sea, Tethys was an all through, was coming to Gujarat coast. Gujarat coast. And Narmada Bhakti was draining out into this Tethys coast. Many times, you know, this question asked, why do you say it was generated to Tethys? Because Narmada 
on its upper beaches. Here, in Chhattisgarh areas, you have the Merin Gondwana. Merin Gondwana. Merin Gondwana. So, Merin Gansa area, Samudra Udra Desa area. So, this death is also as incursed. It has incursed into the continent up to this point. Creating some marine deposits there. So you get marine gondwana here. Some name must be Umiya, that's Umiya, is it called? Hanuman God or something like that. Those areas are having marine gondwana. So why marine gondwana there? Because death is ocean went inside this continent. But here there is no marine gondwana. But because she has been moved towards Antarctica side. Only the place what the gondwana will find in Mahanadi and Godavari and this. So this is the story during Paleozoic time. How India was behaving. Now then breaking will take place and this, this post will open, this post will open and the rest of the things will happen. I will show you the cartoon again and come back to this map. Yeah, just open that cartoon when you switch up the light. Lights are the light can see to switch off. Otherwise, they cannot see it clearly. So, are you able to see the cartoon again? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, you see? I will come back to this mail. See, this is a story 200 million years back. 200 million years back. Maybe Jurassic time. India was together with them. This was the Gondwana land supercontinent or Gondwana land continent. That was Malaysia. Together they were forming Panjia supercontinent. This death is. So death is ocean is coming this way to Gujarat coast. Death is ocean. So that time. Narmada and Tapti, these two rivers are flowing into this Tethys Ocean. It is flowing into there. So the river valley deposits, the Gondwana deposits are here. And Mohanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, all those rivers, Peyo Mohanadi are taking. They were starting from Antarctica and going to Narmada. Godavari, Krishna, they are also from, starting from Antarctica and going into Narmada. Because there was no ocean this side and that side. So they were going into Narmada. So along them, the Gondwana deposits developed. And ultimately draining out into the Tethys Ocean. So, those rivers are your periodic rivers, Permian rivers. Narmada is also Permian river because it is Gondwana deposits. But those Mahanadi, Elio Mahanadi, Palyo, Godavari, Krishna, which are Permian as they are not existing anymore. Why? Because now the continent will break from this place. Continent is a food there. This is East Coast, this is West Coast. East West will break first, then West Coast. See, with this breaking, the Mahanadi river, and there are several rivers, Brahmani, Bhaitarani, in Odisha, those who are from Odisha, they are acquainted with these names. They will start from India and go into the Bay of Bengal. They do not have one one. But they are recent, 110 million year rivers. So, Mahanadi also renewed its river course. It came towards east.
and next the west coast will develop madagascar will be separated out that happens in 90 million year in time so the smaller smaller rivers will start later on they develop na? these rivers are longer without the krishna kaveri rivers are much longer because they are older rivers compared to these rivers Now you see how it is breaking, the east coast and west coast they are breaking. Now you see, now together Gondwana land is moving. Now you see some, some we are there with the broker. But Madagascar is connected to us. That is why the west coast is not developing. Now the east coast developed. East coast you see, so 110 million year time it developed. West coast already developed here, 90 million years. Then the reunion hotspot you will reach that value. And it is going to line. And Himalayan divorce will now start appearing. Himalayan divorce will start appearing. So, the main point of telling all these things is that the rivers which you will see, the oceans which you will see, the mountain beds which you will see, they are all the product of tectonics. They are all the product of tectonics. And without them, can you just survive in this world? Can you survive without the river? We are now destroying the rivers. We are now destroying the ocean coasts. We are not degrading the mountain beds. Can you survive? Yeah, now switch up that line. Not necessary. You cannot survive. And the origin or the beginning or at the root level of all these features is your tectonics. River the river have a key here. But you know the rivers has an origin because of the tectonics. All these coal deposits are because of the rivers. You are getting thermal energy from here, the coal. The river has given rise to these coal deposits. Now petroleum, again the rivers. So, how tectonics is friend your subcontinent, right from Archean time to today? That we are going to study. Now what I am going to tell you after this, you see, just uh, remove it, yeah. He who heard the name of Saraswati River, very interesting story. Only a technical geologist can tell you interesting stories. Others will tell other type of stories. Where is Saraswati River? If you ask your parent, parents, parents, they are anyway not very old. For your parents, I am telling. And my parents are not existing. So if you ask your older people, you know, who are in the village, they will tell, is Saraswati River the Bhut Pabitra River? Where is Saraswati River? Saraswati River is not there. It is not there. That is why we say, Venish Saraswati. Venice, Venice Saraswati. Saraswati Venice. But where it was there? Where it was existing or flowing? Now I will start this story, you know, from Alabama. This is Alabama. Allahabad has a different name now. Allahabad has been renamed now. Pray what is it? Prayagras. Prayagras. Very good. Prayagras. We should use the word Prayagras now. Because Prayagras has some meaning with Hindu, uh, not Hindu, I will tell you, our Indian culture. Why? Now this is the place, you know, it was the confluence of Ganga, Yamuna, 
and there was another river called Saraswati. These three rivers, Himalaya rivers, Ganga, then Jamuna, and Saraswati. These three rivers are coming and meeting there, becoming one river. Then it was flowing super Ganga. This Ganga was coming from Hisigas, Haridwar. Jamuna was coming from Nayaktai Delhi, Delhi Hogya Adil. And Saraswati river was a Kashmiri river. So because of these three rivers meeting today, they are meeting together here at Allahabad, at Prayagraj, people go for giving Shraad here, Shraad, to their Pitrupurus. It is such a pious rivers, pious place, a sacred place. But if you ask the people there, they will say, you can see Ganga and Jamuna. But where is Saraswati? They will say Saraswati is flowing below. Below. Mrs. Alaya. You cannot see it now. Why it went below? That no biology will help you. The tectonics will help you in understanding this. Now, this Saraswati river was coming by Kashmir to Rajasthan, all those places. They said, okay, it's okay. What happened is see, our uh, Arabi mountain, you know, which was existing here, Arabi, it rejuvenated. Rejuvenated. You understand the rejuvenation means? It was connected, then starts rising. So when Aravali mountain starts rising, the Saraswati river which was coming from this side, bus, so called, block body. They say, I, I, I. So it vanished, this part vanished. So vanished is a Madhya river, river which is flowing for millions of years, you know. How it can vanish so soon? But its source is now dried up. There is no supply of water. So it went inside below as a paleo channel. As a paleo channel. But then if you go there, the local people tell you it is a mehra. Those paleo channel is there, gravel beds, sandstones, they will be holding a lot of water, rare water. It must be flowing towards. Allah So that is the story of Venice Saraswati. After that, what happened? Saraswati is here. It starts flowing in Rajasthan. Here, 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 new Saraswati. New Saraswati. Again, it went into Arabian Sea. Arabian Sea. So even today, people say this river is existing, but there is no stress on the stress on the surface. Again, it is a paleo channel. Again, it is a paleo channel. Now, paleo channel. I think one understand paleo channel means. So why it becomes dead now or vanished? See, Maravali mountain, you know. Again, it disturbed. It is rejuvenating. So even this source, you know, which was coming from Himalaya, again it was blocked from here. It is not a rising water around the car. Again this part was blocked. So ultimately, this Saraswati river, this source, you know, dried up, went into those Satluz, Satluz, Ravi, Gas, those rivers are flowing in Punjab. So this mixed with that and went into Indus. Indus may have been done. This Arabic mountain created all these damages. Although you would have got this also the river here. Even it didn't allow it to exist here. This also converted to a television. That is why you say it is very 
we have such an important dinner. Then it's so so. So remember, if somebody asks you, but the Saraswati river is not there, you say it is a very small The Pengal Channel is existing. One in India as well as in Rajasthan. Rajasthan it is very lively. Geophysically they have proved there are a lot of water flowing below the surface. Very small. So there are all Himalayan river, 10 million year river. But now it is dead. Dead you should not say you will be what? It is Venice. And it is your existing in the Paleo Center. Okay. Now, with this, I will stop the today's lecture. Uh, so, next class we will see, we will touch up the plate tectonics and other tectonics gradually. Okay. I will take the attendance. Sir.